Hi everyone, and welcome back to, to part 10 of the Final Fantasy VIII walkthrough. So we're picking it up where we had left off at the Galvadia Missile Base. That draw point with the full lives is only accessible if you have the move Find Ability equipped.
so if you choose the option there to not fight, uh, instead talk your way out, then you gotta choose. Uh, we were just about to get you, otherwise you will fight them. Not that it's a hard battle, it's just saving some time. choose to help out maybe longer than actually fighting in this particular instance though this this little animation is unfortunately quite long set the error ratio. I'm not sure anymore if it's in simulation or target or target itself. here. Of course, just basically max it out. And upload.
enough damage to kill him. So let's go finish and do the limit break here. Let's just go ahead and do that. Now just before, because there's going to be a timer not too long here, so just before the timer goes up, I'm just going to heal up a tad bit here. Actually, that might not have been the best of ideas. Now I just put myself out of little break range. here. to hoping that he attacks a Zell. That'll do. You gotta be careful with your HP levels though against this boss. It actually does hit fairly strongly.
there you go. So that'll do it there after you take care of those little two soldiers. So here the machine's just going to block your way. You can kind of just run around until a scene cuts off. You can't go back in. There's no trigger for the scene itself. So back at garden here for the for the other part of the split team here. So of course, as usual, we're going to start out by switching our junctions. See if we can craft some more here. We got a few extra demis there. So remember on who you've put your your deaths on which character you did so. We will fight the occasional T-Rex or uh, in the in the garden. So very important to remember on whom you put the deaths in order to take advantage of the of the ability. Plus with brothers. Oh, that's right. You need to learn status defense times two before you can learn the status attack with Carbuncle.
Well, you could have avoided this battle by simply choosing to play along, but a little low level at this point, so I figure why not get the, uh, the X wing. Character's HP gets a little low as it is now. Just heal him with a potion to keep your character's HP in limit break range. Basically, now you got to look for the uh, for the headmaster. The way to do that, quite simple, in a clockwise manner. You're just going to go in every single uh, different branch of the garden. hasn't procked yet in, uh, on any of our, our attacks, which is just bad luck, but I was just making sure. So you can talk to these people here, they're going to give you a couple of items. What I'm going to do is a backup plan uh, against, uh, against the T-Rex Wars. It is actually, I'm going to remove the blizzards here from, uh, from Quistus. And uh, I'm going to give them to Squall. And 
from there on out, equip them in the elemental status junction, which will increase the damage dealt uh, by physical attacks then. You could always go with the Red Zukukin plan, worst case here. Uh, since spell really increased the amount of damage that you do since the, uh, the T-Rex or is weak against ice magic. But the death plan worked. So that actually did a fair bit of damage to everyone that one attack, so I'm just going to use a potion on everyone just to keep HP levels roughly stable. So again, use a potion on everyone. We also learned an ability here. So we're gonna make sure that the freak learns the right thing. Alright, moving on.
Also noticing we don't have much um, ammo here for, uh, for uh, his limit breaks. Let me go ahead and craft a few. Demolition ammo is decent. I'm gonna keep the missile though, because that actually won't teach. If you want, I suggest not doing so though, um, simply because you want to keep your HP levels uh, at Limit Break possibility. I'm going to go ahead and save though, hadn't done that in a while. Come to think of it, I was doing the death uh, attacks with Twistus, but could have just done limit break with the generator against the, uh, against the T Rex source as well. Would have been just as efficient. Actually, maybe even more so since it's assured death instead of odds of. Come to think of it, since Quistus has the generator ability, it doesn't make much sense to put death on her. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the junctions between Quistus and her body here.
So here you want to say that you're with the headmaster, basically avoid another fight, get some items from them. So now only one branch left, being the clinic. Here, first off, we're going to use a small potion on this wall. After that, you are just given a few more uh, wizard stones here, which will allow you to complete your Blazagas on this wall, and since that's what's equipped in strength, makes it interesting to max that out. Now, of course, if you went with Faragas or Tandagas and some of the Lizagas there and for, for, for your strength junction, obviously use the wizard stone on whatever spell you created. Nuns, so we're now going to make sure he learns 
anything. I'm gonna go with HP plus. So this part here can be a little bit annoying. It's a trap door in the floor in this here elevator. You gotta be standing exactly at the right place. What makes it really annoying is that there are buttons for the elevator right next to, to the trap door. And a character. So you can basically prompt chatting with the character or pressing on the buttons instead of the trap door that you're actually looking to prompt. The pro the trap door, if you look at the, at the floor, you can notice that uh, Squall's actually standing on it now. It's a little bit tricky. As you can see. There we go. Go ahead and uh, equip some fire magic in your in your elemental attack junction if you want. But overall, enemies aren't that strong in this area.
So here you're gonna mash square, hoping to unjam the valve. Basically, unless you're an absolute beast mode button masher, you won't get it on your first two tries. Don't worry about, you know, it taking a try or two or three, it really doesn't matter. Maybe a little bit longer when it comes to animations, but other than that, won't impact anything else. Face is actually a decently strong enemy. screens on my on the characters affected by silence which for some reason in this game this is pretty much the only game I can think of Final Fantasy I can think of that silence remains after battle open the bottom part you'll have access to this gate which you can unlock go down and lead you to a safe point right before boss fight 
So we're going to leave it right here at the save point for uh, this here video. So as usual guys, uh, thanks uh, for, for being here. Hope you enjoy these videos, find them useful. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Alright, thanks.